I'm all right, thanks. I've I've been putting up the tree like Clark Griswold in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's chaos, but we're all right. And um, I, I know I've only got five minutes, and I just want to say that um, I loved what Tom just did. Then I've, I've I've watched a few. I've been dipping in and out. And it's just a privilege to be invited. So thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm raring to go, to be honest. So tell okay. me, we'll, we'll, we'll zip it and you crack on. I'll hit the timer. You hit the timer, mate. Right. Um, thanks very much for um, just sticking around. I loved what Tom just said then because um, I'm kind of building on that um, or I'm, 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 I'm sharing a bit more around that as well. I'm, I'm thinking of when I worked in the Pru. I was, uh, and we I had a little boy outside in chaos. He was only a little lad and he, a little boy called Maxwell. And he, he said to me, why do we have to do Romans? They're ages ago. And, and I, I said, I know, I know they're ages ago. And I thought he's right. They, they are ages ago, Romans. So me and the staff, me and the teachers, then we went and sat and had a huddle and thought, how are we going to get Maxwell bothered? about Romans and the thing that we struck on was something I'd done in key stage three at my, my school when I was a full-time teacher and it was looking at narratives and stories. Now I'm just going to do my best in the time I've got. With curriculum I think there's, there's like three train lines if you can imagine three train tracks. One train track and perhaps the one that we've got to really pay attention to is the should curriculum, right? And that is the curriculum that we've got to teach, otherwise we'll get into bother. Someone will want to tell us off or put us on a report or something. That's teaching what we have to teach in order to sleep well at night and ensure the kids know stuff. There's then this middle track, and this track is the could curriculum. And this is, in a sense, this is a pedagogy. This is what, to use Ofsted speak, this is the implementation. It's how we're doing the should curriculum over there. Yeah, over there. And then we've got this third track. And this track is perhaps really, really important, particularly to folk who are turning up here tonight. And that's the must curriculum. It's the curriculum that, that, that covers what we used to call the personal learning and thinking skills, the social learning, the stuff that makes people, I think we call it character education now. It's about building good people. So we've got these three tram lines. Now, the thing with tram lines is they crisscross and they move into one another and they touch, don't they? If you look at a bird's eye view of train tracks near a busy station, they're all crisscrossing. And that's what happens and should happen with curriculum. It shouldn't just be one of them. It shouldn't just be one of those tracks. So in lockdown, I spent um, some time working with some schools online because we couldn't meet each other. Some were all, they were all at home, half of them. And we looked at our CUD curriculum. These are schools in Leeds and Barnsley. And what we struck on was the idea of stories. So what we've done, we've taken, this is primary, we've taken, uh, oh, and, a, and an SEMH school, we've taken the curriculum at, key stage one and key stage two and what we've done is we've decided we've written up what we should be teaching just like every other school we've got our national curriculum you know we've, we've paid it we've tipped our head our hats off to that but we've also looked at our CUD curriculum and what we've done for each topic now is we've created a narrative and a story to run alongside the should curriculum we've got this CUD curriculum that weaves in and out, that touches that um, that stuff that we've got to teach. Uh, a quick example, because I know I haven't got a lot of time, but a quick example is this idea, I mean, using the story of um, the Vikings. Kids have got to learn about the Vikings. So what we've done, the kids have been taught the Vikings, but also running alongside, there's a narrative building. And they they are, as a class, as classes, they're creating a, a Viking community. Because what we're gonna do, the way we use a story is we decide on, in the story of Vikings, who are the people? Where are they? What's the place? 
And what are the dilemmas and things that they have to consider as Vikings? I mean, I asked some kids, I said, if we lived in the time of Vikings, what don't we have? I went in and modeled this. Just uh, I go in and I work with the kids, with the teachers watching. So I just said, what, what, do, what don't we have? If we're Vikings and we live in the time of Vikings, what don't we have? And one kid said, Greg's. And he were right. He were right. We didn't have Greg's. You know, we don't have Greg's. But what we do have is we have, we eat. So that goes up on the board. What do Vikings eat? And we're sitting there as Vikings, but we're not really. We're just year three, and we're just having a little sit and a listen and a, and a think about what it's like to be in that position. That's that's just a really quick way of looking at narrative. All stories have those three elements: the people, the place, and the problem. When we give kids design briefs or case studies at Key Stage 4 and for exam prep, you'll notice that they they will have a narrative. The other, am I done? I've seen you pop back in there. Yeah, 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay, the people, place and problem is just one way of building that botheredness, which Tom was talking about before. How do we get kids so that they're in a position where actually they can use their newly found knowledge from the should curriculum because they've been given a dilemma within the could curriculum, within the story curriculum. I hope that was, I hope that were all right. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much indeed. All so, right. Thank you. Yeah, that was really good. Spot on. <laughs> just, just, oh. it, you knew Teach Meets, mate, you know, and, and we've been involved in plenty. And it's all about the takeaways, isn't it? Yeah. And, and not yeah. from Greg's. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, sharing that and thinking about that in, in, in those simple ways. Yeah. I know I, I could see Ollie Lewis in the in the um, sort of green room. He's nodding. He's nodding. You know, yeah. he's, he's on the leadership. I know that will feed into his thoughts um, you know, in, the, in the science curriculum. I know it could be a real help. So thank you so much. Howard. I hope so. I hope so, mate. And just to say, I'm dead easy to find. And if anyone would like to see examples of the planning that, that me and these brilliant teachers have been doing in lockdown, and now we're, we're, we're making it real in class, just get in touch with me and um, we're, we're just keen to, to see what other people think.